This is an acclimation pasture where the buck deer are brought when they're three years old from Dick's deer farm into this acclimation pasture, which is in the middle of his high fence hunting preserve. Uh, at this point, they're acclimated so they can be released into the hunting preserve. Now, this is a really big place and the habitat is good here and it's exceptional out inside the ranch. Now, what happens is these bucks get released to be pasture breeders in the rest of the ranch and when they're mature, they do get hunted, but they get a chance to pass on those genetics. Now, there are people out there that think that, well, it couldn't be fair chase hunting inside of a high fence. I really wanna address that with you. My father, he taught me how to hunt ever since I was a little pup. He really had a problem with hunting inside of a high fence. He thought there's no way that it can be fair chase. And because I am a big supporter of high fence, as y'all know, and he knows, I begged him to come. Please, Dad, come here and hunt and just experience what it's like. If you don't like it, then don't shoot one. If you like it, then you like it. Well, he came and he spent a couple of days and he found out that the habitat is in exceptional shape. The hunt is an exceptional challenge. The deer are wonderful. And uh, hunting behind a high fence, you can have fair chase hunting behind a high fence. I've known Keith for a long time and I really appreciate the programs Keith puts on because he tries to communicate a real positive message to folks out there. Several years ago, he brought his dad hunting here. His dad was fairly skeptical of hunting on a high fence ranch. When he came here, he saw the habitat. He saw that we offered only fair chase hunting. He was enthusiastic and it was a real pleasure having both of them here. We've got about 800 of the 1100 acres under game fence and that allows us to do some hunting of a deer herd that we are able to manage completely. In other words, we provide the genetics, we provide the nutrition, we provide the habitat improvement, we manage the habitat for the maximum amount of edge between cover and open area, and we manage the deer herd such that it's about the same size year after year after year. Sometimes people say, well, I don't know if I'd want to hunt on a high fence place or not. Fair chase is an ethics thing, and I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think it was fair chase here. 